Hello, and welcome to Elevator Pitch Series for the Radiographer. I am Michael, and this is the third video in the series on special radiographic procedures. Over the next three videos, we'll be looking at the radiographic examinations of the gastrointestinal tract. In this video, we start out by learning about the barium swallow, and as with previous special examinations, we look at it under 11 important subheadings. We should also point out that this video was suggested by one of our viewers. Keep suggesting videos. We'll work on them as soon as we can. Before we go further, we should draw your attention to a few projections that are used in the barium swallow. They include an anterior posterior, lateral, and left posterior oblique of the esophagus. You might want to brush up on these projections before going forward in the video. The barium swallow is a radiological investigation of the esophagus following oral administration of contrast media. The esophagus is an important part of the upper digestive system. It is a muscular tube about 24 cm long and 1.9 cm wide. It runs from the laryngopharynx to the stomach, and by doing so it conveys food from the mouth and pharynx to the stomach. Now, why would you carry out a barium swallow? One reason is dysphagia. Dysphagia is a difficulty in swallowing. It is one of the most common reasons for carrying out barium swallow investigations. The referring physician would want to see what is causing this difficulty in swallowing. Common causes of dysphagia include esophageal cancer, narrowing of the esophagus known as a stricture, or enlarged esophageal veins known as varices. Other indications for a barium swallow include hiatus hernia, which is a condition in which part of the stomach protrudes through the diaphragm. Esophageal reflux, in which contents of the stomach regurgitate into the esophagus, or in cases of suspected foreign bodies in the esophagus. However, a barium swallow investigation is avoided in patients who recently had esophageal or gastric surgery. Also because the contrast media used is water insoluble, it is avoided in patients with suspected perforation. This is because the water insoluble barium could leak through the perforation and get trapped in the mediastinum, pleura, or peritoneum. However, if the investigation must be carried out in a patient with suspected perforation, water-soluble contrast media is used instead. As for equipment, a conventional radiography or fluoroscopy unit may be used. As we already stated, the contrast media used for a barium swallow is the water-insoluble barium sulfate, unless of course a perforation is suspected, in which case we would use water-soluble organic iodides. At this point, we should talk about single and double contrast barium examinations. As the name implies, a single contrast exam uses only one contrast media, commonly the barium sulfate. As for a double contrast exam, barium sulfate is used along with a second contrast media, air. A double contrast exam allows details of the inner layer of the esophagus to be visualized clearly. Unlike other gastrointestinal tract exams that you'll hear of, the barium swallow really doesn't have any special bowel preparations. All that may be required to do is to explain the procedure to the patient and have the patient change into a radiolucent gown after removing all opacities. Remember, a preliminary film is useful as a point of reference to which contrast images are compared. They also help to establish the exposure factors and positioning that would be used throughout the procedure. The preliminary films taken in barium swallow examinations are the anterior posterior and lateral views of the esophagus. As for the technique, for each image that would be acquired after the preliminary films, the patient holds a mouthful of barium in the mouth and will be told to swallow while the image is being acquired. This way, the image will be acquired with barium in the esophagus. Here you can see the patient holding the liquid in her mouth. And here you see the patient swallowing. It is at this point that the image is acquired. If it were a double contrast exam, it's basically the same thing, except that the patient is given a gas-producing substance before the barium. By performing the technique of swallowing each time, the following images are acquired, an anterior posterior, lateral and left posterior oblique of the esophagus. And as you may have observed, these images show the esophagus well outlined compared to the preliminary images. Because of the thick and chalky nature of barium sulfate, one common complication of this procedure is constipation or chalk-colored feces. This is why the patient is normally advised to drink lots of water to aid digestion. Other than that, no special aftercare is needed. That concludes the first part on radiography of the gastrointestinal tract. We would like to say a big shout out to Sam Yaz and Yosra Hassan for suggesting this set of videos on the GIT. If you love this video and would want more content, please subscribe and share with your colleagues. Next time we look at the barium meal investigation.
Do take care and stay safe.